Welcome to More Time in the Kitchen. In this video I'll be making a cooling chunky guacamole. So let's get cooking. Right, so we've got most of the ingredients here. Um, the rest of them are just out of shot. Uh, if you want a full list of the ingredients, they will be in the recipe, which I've put a link to in the description. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the onion. And basically we want to mince it. You want to cut really thin. I've said this in the video that I made for the salsa. Um, if you've watched that. If not, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description and at the end of the video. Anyway, um, what I like to do with the onion, whenever I'm cooking raw onion, whenever I'm cooking raw onion, whenever I'm putting raw onion in a dish, I like to just um, soak it in some, some cold water and all that does is it takes away uh, that sort of overpowering flavour so you, you you get a, a milder flavour and uh, it gives you a bit less of that onion breath. Then I'm going to do the avocado. So I find that even uh, people who don't like avocado like guacamole for some reason I say I find that people. Uh, this is based on my current boyfriend and an ex. Uh, so two people. Okay. I'm not very picky uh, with, when it comes to food, but there's there's a few things that I know I don't like, uh, and I just won't eat them. Um, I mean I'd I'd say it's usually. Oh, come on. So I have to get this stone out. I saw um, in the... Gosh, this does not want to come out. Uh, I saw in, in the news, well, say in the news, it was on... Oh, there we go. It was on Facebook, um, but it was a news article. And it was saying that this doctor had advised people against um, holding an avocado like that and taking the, the stone out like that, as in whacking the, the knife into the stone with the avocado in the palm of their hand. Because basically what, what people were doing were they were uh, they were ending up with the knife in their hand because they'd cut right through the avocado and it had gone into their hand. And I mean, how, I don't know how people manage that. Um, the, in the picture, it was someone with, um, it was like this massive knife that they, they'd used to, to cut an avocado. But I, I mean, I don't know how you, how you manage to do that because you, you'd have to put a lot of force into that. You have to really, really whack it. I'm gonna scoop out the flesh of the avocado. So the trick with this is that you wanna get avocados that are quite ripe. So I've bought these a couple of days in advance. They've not ripened up that much, to be honest, because um, it's very cold here. at the moment. So yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm not I'm not very picky uh, with food. There's certain things I don't like. I mean, I don't like... Uh, I don't like bananas. I suppose that's probably the most sort of unusual thing not to like, because loads of people like bananas. Um, and it's generally uh, my mum that tries to get me to eat things that that I don't like. Um, but every Christmas, my dad tries to get me to eat Brussels sprouts. Every single Christmas. And, oh, got a bit of the skin in there. 
go. Yeah, every single Christmas he tries to get me to eat Brussels sprouts. And every Christmas I say, I don't like Brussels sprouts. I never like Brussels sprouts. I never will like Brussels sprouts. I hate Brussels sprouts. Right, put that to one side. And I'm going to juice the lime. Just half a lime. Yeah, so I say, are you having Brussels sprouts this year? I'll say no. He says, oh, but it's Christmas. As if it being Christmas is going to make me like the taste of them. And it doesn't matter how they're dressed up. Um, you know, you um, see recipes where you put like bacon in them or, um, I don't know, just, just dress them up somehow. They still taste like Brussels sprouts. Still taste awful. I'm not eating them. Okay, so I'm just going to mush the avocado with a fork. I really can't really see that. Yeah, so ideally these would be a bit more ripe, but like I said, it's been really, really cold here. So they've not ripened up as much as I would have liked. But with some brute force, I will smoosh these avocados. Yeah, so is there anything that uh, you don't like but your family or significant or other or whoever tries to get you to eat? If there is, post in the comments. Right, I think we're about there. I'm going to leave it at that. Cut my losses. I'm going to cut up the coriander. My dad's kind of worse than me for sort of saying he doesn't like something, but then he'll still eat it. So sweet potato, I, I love sweet potato, uh, but my dad doesn't like it. He says he doesn't like it. So take for instance, he, I, I made, uh, I was home, uh, I was visiting, and I made some soup, uh, I made some sweet potato soup. And at the time, uh, my dad was on this diet, he was on this diet where you could eat what you wanted most of the week, but two days of the week, you you only could eat a certain number of calories. So this was his uh, low calorie day. So I made soup and I thought, well, that'll, that'll be okay for him um, because I won't, I won't have many calories in it. Um, so at this point, I didn't know that he had said that he didn't like sweet potatoes. Um, but he came home and he in, um, told him that I'd made soup and he, he, was a, he, he said, oh, um, what kind of soup is it? And I said, oh, it's sweet potato. And he goes, oh, no, I don't like sweet potato. And he moaned and groaned. And then, uh, and then I bring it through and he, and he eats it and he really likes it. And then, and um, I'd saved two portions in the pan um, and he, he went on to eat the other two portions which I was going to have uh, for lunch over the next two days. So yeah, that, that was after him saying he didn't like sweet potato and of course he went over his calorie count because um, cause he ate three portions. Okay. Let's give him a mix in. Uh, okay, the la last couple things. I'm just going to put a glug of olive oil in. A little bit, and I'm just going to season it with some salt and pepper. Okay, give it one last mix round. Right, so I've got the guacamole here again in a little ramekin. So like I've said, I'm going to have this guacamole with some salsa in a chili burrito. I've put the links to those in the description below and I'll put a link at the end of the video as well. I'm just going to have a little taste just now. Mmm. 
Mm. <laughs> okay, so I can tell it's going to be really cooling with the with the salsa. It's going to bring down the heat, the chili. It's nice and fresh, nice and cooling, um, and the the flavor of the onion isn't too overpowering as well. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a cooling cooling chunky guacamole. Cooling chunky guacamole. Cooling chunky guacamole. 